After Anakin Skywalker fell to join the Sith and become the apprentice of Darth Sidious, Darth Vader believed he put the philosophy and platitudes of the Jedi behind him, and through the dark side, found a path that could offer him much more. But almost immediately, Vader would become frustrated to hear his new master Sidious use wisdom he'd been taught by the Jedi, and which offered him nothing. For example, after eradicating the Separatist leadership on Mustafar, Sidious was quick to warn his apprentice that he was in real danger, and thus should be mindful of it. As seen in the Episode 3 novelization, this infuriated Vader to a degree, wondering if that advice was the best his new master had to offer, thinking that he could get meaningless platitudes about being mindful from Obi-Wan, a clear reference to Obi-Wan's teachings to Anakin in Episode 2, when his Padawan was focusing on the negatives of their meeting Padme again. But there's an even better example within the Legends lore of Sidious attempting to use wisdom passed on to Anakin from the Jedi in the early weeks of the Empire, where the Dark Lord of the Sith actually used a version of Yoda's lessons to Luke in Episode 5 to try to inspire his new apprentice Vader. In the immediate aftermath of Vader's defeat to Obi-Wan on Mustafar, Vader was devastated by his injuries, not just physically, but mentally as well. Unsurprisingly, it was by far the lowest point for Vader during his years as a Sith. It wasn't merely that his suit was insufficient and a burden in almost every way, but he legitimately lost his strength in the Force after Mustafar, and wasn't sure if he'd ever be able to possess it again. For Vader, he had none of the skills or confidence he had as Anakin, and in having lost everything, he'd never felt more trapped. After he came far closer than he ever should have to being defeated by a Jedi Knight named Bolsh Attack only weeks after Order 66, Vader was pushed even further into his own despair. And as seen within the novel Dark Lord The Rise of Darth Vader, Sidious would find Vader at his lowest point, unleashing his fury upon the medical droids attempting to help repair his cybernetics after his embarrassing duel. After some prodding from Sidious, the Dark Lord attempted to get Vader to understand that the Jedi were meaningless to them, and he shouldn't be concerned about the result of his duel or in finding those that remained, as all of that would happen in due time. But Vader's thoughts betrayed him, not convinced the Sith should be content with the fact that the Jedi Order had been destroyed. At that point, Vader revealed his true thoughts that plagued him after Mustafar. As Vader would inquire from his master, quote, Look at us, are these the faces of victory? Sidious was immediately sickened by Vader's self-pity, and had to fight back his own anger. But it was clear Vader meant it. Not only was he struggling with what happened to him on Mustafar, but he was also struggling with the extent of Sidious' own injuries. As revealed in the Episode 3 novelization, Anakin had been stunned with horror when looking upon Palpatine for the first time after he helped to defeat Mace Windu. The first time Anakin saw Palpatine's new appearance, it took his breath away, choked as if his throat was being crushed by an invisible fist. In the words of the novel, Anakin was revulsed and found that he was looking into the face of the dark side and of his own future. Clearly, Vader interpreted their injuries as defeat, as he questioned that had they been truly victorious, they wouldn't have been destroyed to the extent they were. But it wasn't only physical with Vader. In fact, I'd argue that this was incidental to his true concern. Vader was really wondering how they could see themselves as victors when Vader saw that while they might have power, he would never experience joy in the same way he once did, demonstrating just how low Vader was immediately after Episode 3. Recognizing the fragility of Vader at this point, Sidious turned to the wisdom that we've seen be explicitly stated by Yoda to Luke in Episode 5, attempting to inspire his apprentice and try to pull him out of the depths of his own despair. In a pretty fascinating scene, Sidious told Vader, quote, We are not this crude stuff, Lord Vader. Have you not heard that before? Clearly, Sidious had known about the use of this lesson within Jedi philosophy. Unsurprisingly, just as Vader reacted to his master's suggestion that he be mindful on Mustafar with disgust, he did so again here, telling Sidious that not only had he heard that lesson before during his time as a Jedi, but he heard it far too often. But attempting to inspire Vader, Sidious told him that he would teach him the truth of that lesson, the real truth that couldn't be learned from the Jedi. Sidious was adamant it didn't matter how they appeared, for they were truly crude matter within the mundane corporeal realm. What mattered was their path with the dark side, which although it came with terrible risk, was the only path worth following. For as Sidious promised, Vader would soon learn he didn't have to worry about finding joy within the power he acquired, as power itself was joy. By the end of their conversation, Vader wouldn't be inspired yet completely, but he did accept he should be grateful for the little he had been able to hold on to after Mustafar and his new path with the dark side. 
but Sidious's lesson and inspiration, which was built on the wisdom Vader first heard during his years with the Jedi, would be fully understood by Vader only weeks later following the Battle of Kashyyyk, as Vader fully accepted that Sidious was correct. The crude matter represented by their physical appearance wasn't important, as they needed no other companion, no other source of joy than the dark side itself. So there we have it, how Yoda's lesson to Luke in Episode 5 was utilized decades earlier by Sidious. Thank you very much to all of the Patreon members of Star Wars Reading Club, as your support is so greatly appreciated. You can find all of our social media links and a link to our Star Wars gaming channel in the description below for updates and even more Star Wars content. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For being mindful.